life is easy when you're up on the mountain and you've got peace of mind like you never know but then things change and you're down in the valley well, don't lose faith for you're never alone for the God on the mountain is still God in the The God of the good time is to God in the bad times. God of the day is still God in the night. You talk of faith when you're upon the mountain, but talk comes so easy. Life's at its best, but it's down in the valleys of those trials and temptations. For that's when faith is really put to the test. For the God on the I was lost, but you knew where to find me. I was hungry, you were bread for my soul. I was thirsty, and you gave me. You were my shelter when I had no place to go. That's why sometimes I just want to praise you. Sometimes just to speak your name. Sometimes I just want to thank you Without asking you for a thing Oh, and sometimes 
Sometimes I lift my hands to you And sometimes all I do is cry Everything that I have I owe to you Lord and Cal the love that you've given Lord when I think of the price you paid for me then the trials on earth they just seem like nothing when they're compared to Calvary Oh, sometimes I just want to praise you Praise you Sometimes just to speak your name Speak your name Sometimes I just to thank you Lord, to thank you without asking you for a thing, Not a thing no. sometimes I lift my hands to you sometimes all I do Cry. Cry, cry, cry. Everything that I have, I owe. to speak your name speak your name sometimes i just wanna thank you Sometimes all I do is cry.
Should you go first and I remain to walk the road alone, I'll live in memory's garden, dear, with the happy days we've known. In spring, I'll watch for roses red when fades the lilac blue. And in early fall, when brown leaves call, I'll catch a glimpse of you. Should you go first and I remain to finish with the scroll, no lengthening shadow shall creep in to make this life seem droll. We've known so much of happiness, and we've had our cup of joy, but memory is one gift of God that death cannot destroy. Should you go first and I remain for battles to be fought, each thing you've touched along the way will be a hallowed spot. I'll hear your voice, I'll see your smile, and though blindly I may grope, the memory of your helping hand will buoy me on with hope. Should you go first and I remain, one thing I'd have you do, walk slowly down that long, long path, for soon I'll follow you, and I'll want to know each step you take that I may walk the same, for someday, Someday down that lonely road, you'll hear me call your name. Hallelujah. 
At this time, I'm gonna ask that we stand. We're gonna do the opening hymn, In the Sweet By and By. May we all stand at this time. Bless the Lord.
Jesus. We exalt your name because your name is great and greatly to be praised. There is none like you, mighty God, and none to compare to you. We
Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Morning by morning, new mercies we see. Are you grateful to be here this afternoon? Are you grateful to be here this afternoon? We have so much to give God thanks for. So much to give him thanks for this morning. Bless the name of Jesus. And it's nothing good that we have done, but it's just because of his grace and his mercies towards us. Bless the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can we say a big thank you this afternoon? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Bless the name of Jesus. At this time, the second lesson comes to us from Philippians 1, verse 21 to 23, and this will be read by Una Campbell. Shall we bless the Lord? Praise God. Good morning everyone. This second lesson is taken from Philippians 1, verse 21. For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. What if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor, yet I shall yet I yet what I shall choose I will not. For I am in a straight betwixt to have been a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. A reading of God's holy word. Thanks be to God. Bless you, my dear. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. As we know for sure that the word declares that flesh cannot please God. But they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Shall we bless the Lord? Bless the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Without further ado, we're moving on. And at this time, we have an item from Diane Campbell. Is that person here? Work for what we want. 
of our existence. In our loved one's absence, we are left grappling with the fragility of life and the uncertainty of our mortality. We comfort the reality, we take comfort in the reality that the ones we hold closest can be taken from us in an instant leaving us in an unfillable void. But amidst the pain, we find strength in the memories we share, in the laughter, in the tears, in the bond that transcends, transcended our love. As I reminisce on the last encounter with my brother, Logan McCormack, a.k.a. Jimmy, in August 2022 when I visited Jamaica. It was one of those moments I will forever cherish. I was treated with a profound love by my brother that it still warms my heart. On a particular day, he insisted that we visited Morris. Morris is a family farm in the hills of Foxy's. And so Jimmy insisted that he was going to take Burke along with him to Morris because he wanted to treat him. He wanted to treat me to some fav some of my favorite such as mangoes, guavas, and jackfruit. He would not take no for an answer, and I would not pass out on the offer. We were accompanied by one of our family friends, Potter. It was an interesting journey as we leisurely strolled up the hill to Morris engaging in various conversations. We had a grand time. Having known I would be going into Kingston the following day, Jimmy would not miss out on the opportunity of taking that trip to Kingston with me to see his friends and loved ones. He gathered a different food produce that evening and told me that we had to leave early in the, in the morning in order to avoid the traffic. Upon our arrival into Kingston, I, had, I made several stops where he distributed the ground produce. I asked if he was selling them, but he responded with a strong no. I am giving them away. I don't sell anything. His heart of sharing was admirable and was further demonstrated when we were on our way home that evening. Jimmy asked me for some funds. He asked me for some funds to purchase machetes and files for some people in the district, which I willingly gave to him. I was shocked but pleasantly surprised to know that side of my brother. My brother, evidently you have touched many lives. As the songwriter penned it, if I could help somebody as I travel along, then my living shall not be in vain. Jimmy, you will be sadly missed by lots of families, friends, and all those that you have helped along the way, including myself. 
May your soul rest in peace and life perpetual shine upon you. Bless the Lord. I check once more to see if Diane Campbell is here. Julie Thompson. Jimmy, because I take him for my child, my baby now. So I said to him, You ever hear that a 40 year old woman of a 60 year old um, child? Hear him, yes, it's me you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jimmy, me and him become good friends. Mr. Jimmy, I love you, but Jesus loves you best. May your soul rest in peace. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Ride out your storm. God is there with you. Whatever affliction you are going through, remember that God is there with you. He is a comforter for the comfortless. Yes. Remember. And I am, I just feel like I want us to do this for us together. Can we stand at this time? Bless the name of Jesus. I'm gonna ride with Jesus. 
us, whatever storm we are going through this afternoon. Despite how we are feeling this afternoon, we are going to ride out this storm with Jesus. Shall we bless the Lord? Bless the Lord. of the righteous, but he will deliver us from them all. He did not say some, he did not say one. He will deliver us from them all. So whatever you're going through this afternoon, remember we serve a God who is bigger than every affliction. He's bigger than any problem that we have. Bless the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory be to God.
My brother was a no-nonsense person. He spoke whatever was in his mind and his heart truthfully. I remember as children, he was my protector. My favorite memory of us is when we went fishing and to go to mango bush. One thing I can say about my brother is that if he has you as a friend, he will defend you until the end. I know we're mourning because we miss our good brother Jimmy. But I take peace in knowing that he's free from pain and suffering. And now he's reunited with the family that's already passed on. I want to treasure the life we shared with us. Rest in eternal peace, my dear brother. And you will live forever in our hearts. Amen. Bless the Lord. Janelle Bambury. Is Janelle Bambury here? Our next two good calls for her. we call Jimmy, four and a half years ago, and what drew me to him was his kindness and his jovial demeanor. He made me feel as if I knew him all my life. I was always comfortable in his presence and felt accepted right away. I would call him sometimes to check on him, and he would ask, then I went, no, I can't look for me. Me plant yama, so you know, and they're ready. One thing, he always wanted to see us and always had so much to share. I remember one day, me and Ricky went to see him and he took me to the yam with him. I was so excited because I had never done it before and wanted the experience. I enjoyed it that day. We did yam and picked jackfruit and other goodies from the land. I learned so much that day. His laughter and stories brightened our lives. The bond he shares with his children was truly special, and I admired it. And I know it will live in their hearts forever. You were a father who treated me like your own. I will be forever grateful for your love. We will miss your sense of humor, your kindness, which knew no boundaries, and just who you were naturally. We are grateful for the time we had with you. Your presence brought happiness and peace to our lives, and your absence leaves a void that cannot be filled. Our hearts ache with your absence, but we celebrate the incredible person you were. You will forever hold a special place in our hearts. Your legacy will endure through the love and memories you left behind. In your memory, we will find the strength to move forward and keep your spirit alive. I am grateful for the time I had with him, and I will keep his memory alive in my heart. You are not just a father-in-law, you are family. Your memory will always be a part of me. Your absence is deeply felt, but your love will continue to surround us. Rest in peace, Jimmy. Amen.
Alleluia.
a floral tribute by grandchildren, by the grandchildren of the deceased. Are we ready for that floral tribute? And after the floral tribute, we'll be having some open tributes, so if you're interested, we have four open tributes. Bless the Lord.
And I know Mr. Jimmy, from what I heard, is a lively man. So I don't want you guys to be coming here with a sad face today. I just want to tell you that Mr. Jimmy is saying this to you. So if you miss me, come oh, yeah. on, work with me. Eight. 
you know, he came to me and he said, Sister Bear, I want you to pray for me. I want to change my life. I don't like the way I'm living. I feel like I'm in bondage. Of course, the enemy keeps us in bondage. And so I prayed for him. And he confessed his sins and he surrendered his life to God. And I referred him to a church nearby in um, Port Anderson, where this woman of God, she is very gifted. She um, is a deliverance person. There's a church there, and she and I was going to pray to God, referring to that church. And he began going to that church. And when you see on a Saturday night, it, it, there was, was a transition from Jerry and Neville Spirit to the Holy Spirit. So <laughs> when the Holy Spirit was in control of his life, he was changed. Let me tell you, he was living not too far from the bar, from Ken's bar, that, I mean, across where he was living in Carnado. And he said, it, it, his mind was turned, completely turned from the drinking. He turned from the bar. And a Saturday night, they would wonder, what happened? He must be changed. Yeah. Couldn't be Jimmy that, not drinking. And, and Saturday night, no, he began to go to church. I gave him a Bible. And Saturday night, he would look forward to go to church Sunday morning. And Sunday morning, I would make sure I fix his breakfast and would go to church. And in the evening, I would make sure he have his dinner. And Jimmy, he goes on to a time, and you know, I used to call his brothers overseas and say, you know that Jimmy, life is changed. His life is changed. And what, however, he has Locate, relocate in St. Mary again and somehow because he did not have a spiritual help um, he resort to the, the, his, his sinful life the way of drinking again but I know that he wanted to be a good person and I think his life was void because he able to have a family, you know, but somehow when he got sick, I called him and I said to him, um, you need to make it right with God. If there's anyone in your heart who have wronged you, you need to ask God to, uh, to forgive them and make it right with God. Look at Jimmy, he has time to reconcile with God before he died. You know, some of us, some people think not I'll get that chance to, to do so. But Jimmy had the chance to reconcile with God, to make his life right with God before he passed away. So I said, look, unforgiveness is a terrible, terrible, is a, is a terrible spirit, you know. And um, if you have people in your heart, you cannot um, hear from God. You've been praying because um, Psalm 66 verse 18 says, If I regard anything in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. So you could pray till Jesus comes. If you have unforgiveness in your heart, you, the Lord will not hear you. You have to forgive. That is a hindrance to your blessing from God, from, from your deliverance. So I would say this afternoon, it is appointed that the man wants to die and then come the judgment. So I will encourage you to turn your life to God this afternoon. And if you are in the bandage, you know, you hear me, uh, of you are the bandage, you can give a song that you may have life and you have one that So bless you. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. I am the lost aunt Regine. I love you, Nephew. I love this man. I was alive with all my heart. Let's name of Jesus. What the greatest love is. The love of God is greater far than more than death. 
thank you. And to God, thank you. That's the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. I encourage us today. Jimmy may have had the chance to repent. Many of us won't. The song says, in the twinkling of an eye, I'll be gone. None of us knows when our time will be. So I encourage us today, seek the Lord while he may be found. And if he's knocking at your heart, you're here in our presence today. Harden not your heart. Open up and let him in. Bless the name of Jesus. Before you die, seek the Lord. At this time, Miss McCormack will be coming to us with the eulogy. Bless the name of the Lord. He met and fell in love with Mara, 
and the union produce his firstborn child, his pride and joy, Kisha. There was nothing to him There was nothing to him like his daughter. He would often boast to everyone about his angel and how she was his fitting image. You see how she looked like me? I make a bar of. Work hard He worked hard enough to take care of his responsibility. Jimmy left St. Mary and went to Portmore to work for his uncles. The move was a bit sweet because although he was earning money for his child, it cost him his relationship with Maya. He was dedicated in taking care of his daughter and continued working in Portmore. He would later meet a wonderful young lady who swept him away, the amazing Carl Williams, <laughs> otherwise called Pet. The union produced two boys, Milton, which is Booker, and Ricardo, which is Ricky. There was a time the boys wanted a ball and our father gave Pet the money for the ball. But Pet, being the protective mother, would use the money and other necessities because she didn't want the boys hurting themselves playing ball. One day, Booker asked Jimmy about the ball. Jimmy told him, about five times I'm going to buy the ball. <laughs> Why Carl not go to the ball? Carl explained her fear, but Jimmy mean we is said, a boy pity them, make them jump and chip up. No we pay the doctor. <laughs> Jimmy and Pet drifted apart due to his choice of jobs, but nonetheless, he was always a constant present in our lives. Jimmy met Andrea Lang and they got married. He became stepdad to her two boys, Ricardo and Renardo. And if you were to ask them right now who was their father, they would say, not Jimmy, without hesitation. Unfortunately, that union wasn't the last and Jimmy remained single thereafter. Jimmy focused on his work to take care of his children and with him working so much driving all over the place, he became familiar with police. Some interactions were more favorable than others. We all know how hot he could get sometimes especially if something he was passionate about. <laughs> Some of you may remember him as being fearless. He was not a starter, but a strong finisher. Others remember him as a man of his words. He was kind, caring, willing to share that little he had, and others didn't matter if he knew them or not. Jimmy was a little man, but, as a, but was a towering giant in all our lives. I wish to say that again. Jimmy was a little man, but a towering giant in all our lives. He was a great father and friend. <laughs> the month of February was his golden month. All his kids were born in February. He would often say if a woman got pregnant for him and the child wasn't born in February. <laughs> Today, we 
are here, it is only the month of February to celebrate his life. Jimmy was a legend to us, his children. He often taught us, one, love people, not things. Two, share what you have. Three, live simple, stay humble. He leaves behind three children, Keisha, Milton, and Ricky, Ricardo, seven grandsons, Zare, Chaz, Euro, Jay Sean, Jahir, Trey Sean, and Dre Sean. Sister, Yuna, brother, Ramon, or Mabi, Evel, which is Burke, Joseph, and Raymond. His many other relatives and friends, especially Roy, Beris, Whitey, Soji, and Taximan, just to mention a few. Jimmy, Dad, sleep well until we see you again, because we know you're not by your badness. It is no time for the word. And the word will be coming to us from no other than Pastor Paulette Brown. At this time I ask us to stand. Congregation, receive 
your pastor, pastor congregation, bless the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I just want to say first, I just want to thank Minister Samson. It, this, this was your job. And I thank God. The minister had an emergency that was supposed to be traveling with me. Hallelujah. But she was on my heart from yesterday. And I thank God that she accepted the challenge. So I thank God for you. Praise the name of the Lord. And I also want to say a special thanks to Donington Sacred Heart. Oh my God. Thank you for hosting us today. Hallelujah. I love. I'm telling you, God is breaking barriers. And you'll understand where God is going with 
his word. Here's the problem that he was talking about that he said this employer had a media. And so this employer began to hire some workers. But while he was hiring some workers, you have some come from in the morning. Oh, hallelujah. And then later, some come in the evening. Some come even one hour before closing time. <laughs>
And you know, he and dying a few days later. <laughs> oh my God. He received salvation. And I remember I've been dying and I went to my bed and I had this dream. I went the third floor. Oh, glory to God. Well, he was on the third floor. And he said to me, this place is so beautiful. He said, isn't it beautiful? I said, yes. He said, it's so beautiful. Heaven is so beautiful. Saints, why would you want to go there to such a place? Oh, but I'm Shanta. Why don't you want to serve him? Why don't you want to receive his forgiveness? Oh, God. He In few days, same reward. Well, the story, as I said, ain't so beautiful. He received eternal life and went to heaven. Oh, glory to God. That's the same thing happened with my brother, Jimmy. <laughs> it's late in his life, but he did receive eternal life. So you don't have to mourn. Like oh, that believer mourn. He should. He's with Jesus. You can rejoice in the time where you're going to mourn and God allows that mourning, but know one thing for sure that He made it in. Hallelujah. Woo, glory to God. He made it in. Oh, Jesus. This is the gift that God gave to us, and all we must do is receive it. Lord of mercy. Oh, God, if you just accept Him today. You're going to get the same rages as you did not. Oh, glory to God. I remember talking to Sister Yuna. And Sister Yuna was talking to Jimmy while he was sick. And he said, Sister Yuna said to me, No, first I said to her, I said, Sister Yuna, just minister to him. I said, Minister to Jimmy. And he, she did. And Sister Yuna called back and he said to me, She said to me, Jim saying the prodigal son has returned. Oh, shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? He said the prodigal son has returned. Oh, glory to God. So I know that Jimmy is not lost. Um, and I could see when I was there, first when I saw him, he was just angry like something was just bothering him. And I would talk to him and I would pray and I would pray. But did you know Jimmy was so wonderful. It was so wonderful. I went up by Jimmy and he cut sugar cane. I heard one of the grandsons said, Son, I don't know. He made what he you know where the sweetest cane is. I don't know. He cut that cane and that cane was so sweet. He peeled that cane for me and me and my sister, we ate cane. It was a jitter, really, it's a sweet cane for a man. It was so sweet. It was so, it was like a different person. God was doing a transition. God was changing it. God was changing his own way. So glory to God. Woo, Jesus. Woo, God. Hallelujah. Oh, he was changing it. And he came back down to the church and he said to me, he said, he said, pick any bean you want from the property. He said, any bean, cook, pick, cook, and eat. He said, I don't need no permission. No, pick bean and eat. And I'm like, oh my God, what a wonderful transition. What God is doing, the scripture tells us that the old, old things are passed away. And the old, old new things is added into your life. Come on, somebody. You are, you are different. Hallelujah. I heard the testimony of the um, aunt, I think, and she was saying, oh, he changed and he was going to church. And, and I said, look at God. That's why God sent this word to me. Oh God, yes he passed. Yes God maybe didn't touch him and heal him. But I want to tell you this, that Jimmy made it in. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? Jesus gave him the reward. Yes, he did not labor in the vineyard for many years. Yes, he did not lay hands on those sick from somebody. Oh Lord to God, but he made it in and he got the same reward. That's why when Jesus was being crucified, 
And he was on the cross and the two teeth that was beside him. And one man began to talk bad things about you. If you are Jesus, come down. Take yourself off this cross. But the other man said, Oh God, when you get to paradise, remember me. Eight hours 
He arguing, talking about how comes he get the same wage and he only do an hour. Tell him that's the love of God. That's the love of God. Woo, Jesus. That's the love of God that goes see our fault and see our need. How about Shanta? He wished that none of us should perish. Hell wasn't made for us. And God, I'm a minister in America. I work with so much young members and people like those, and sometimes I see the Lord like, how could you love these people that just started ministry? Because I'll try and I'll try. Some come to kill me, and God said, of oh, them, love them. How about Shanda? Should that have a love relationship? Oh, God, with young members, I just love them. Because I see far beyond what I could see through them. You know, God, the summary said that I can see you in the future. And you look much better than you look right now. That's what I used to pray. I was like, I was walking, I told him, I said something in the house there, and I was like, let me see him, be mine. As I'm praying for him, he going to give his life to the Lord God. I was just praying. Hallelujah. So I was like, I said, Jenny, you're coming to church this Sunday. Hmm. She said, I'm coming this Sunday. Hmm. I said, all right. I don't care if you're mine. But we praise him. Thank God. Thank God that God saved him. It's not without doubt if he made it in. Oh, come on, somebody. He said, the prodigal son has returned. Jesus said, just like Paul, the owner of the vineyard said, why are you here again? Is it, didn't I do what I promised? Isn't it my vineyard? Don't I have the right to do what I need to do? Hallelujah. Their life since the past three years. Everyone I've touched. Ooh, the short to just die the other day. Touch his life. Touch everyone. He says, Cause, we're going to get it right to the boss. Cause, we're going to get it right. He says, Shanti, you better get it right to me. He says, Cause, we're going to get it right. He says, Cause, we're going to get it right. He says, Cause, we're going to get it right. He says, Cause, we're going to get it right. He says, Cause, we're going to get it right. He says, Cause, we're going to get it right. He says, Cause, we're that's always I close. I close in my beak everywhere I go. I close to give out. I said, you want clothes? I gave him a nice suit as I come to church. Everyone, no person can see that die that have not. Hallelujah. Give a word. But God said to me that I am raising you up to be the last church. And what that means is that I'm raising you up to give the people the last warning. Because he said, when you come, or ever he finds you, that's where you're going to spend eternity. Hallelujah. Oh, Shandra. Not no pressure. I'm not trying to pressure you. I'm just giving you the word of God. Oh, God. You, Jesus. I'm just giving you the word of God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Say a word. And you may say, well, I'm a prostitute. I'm a drinker. I'm whatever sins you are. I'm telling in America, I said, guess what? All of the sins are the same sin. Oh, God, sometimes they talk about the gay people. I said, leave them, the gay people alone, because you know, if you're lying, you still have the same sin. Pray for them, encourage them, speak to them. We know the word. The Bible tells us in Galatians, Arabo Shanta, that all those things of drunkard, it's a lie to Babo Shanta, they tell you, that you can drink a little bit. He said, if you're drunk, then you're drunk, then you're not going to make it in. In the fornicate. Let's put Satan to shame. Let him know, Shanda, if you're not married, get out of the relationship. If you're not married, stop fornicating. If you're a lion, still stop it. Come on, somebody. If you're an adulterer, stop it. I'm come to preach the honor of Shanda, the word of God. Woo, Jesus, I'm not sure I'm it. Oh, God, because I want 
life eternal. Jimmy made him. I love him so much. I Shanda, when I went back that day when I was at my last time with Jimmy, I said, Barry, Jimmy changing. She said, what is that? I said, Jimmy changing. God is doing it. Oh, God. I said, God is doing it, Barry. Jimmy change. Oh, God. And he got the same wages. Oh, 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 Jesus. You don't understand. Revelation 24, 7 said, Oh, I come quickly, blessed is he that keepeth the saying of the prophecy of this book. He had a little bush and uh, Hallelujah. Repeat itself again and he said, Oh, I come quickly in Revelation. And the, my reward is to me to give every man according to his word shall be. And verse 30, he said, I'm Alpha and I'm Omega. Oh, the beginning of That they may have a right to the tree of life. We can rejoice, saints. Our beloved Mr. Macam made it in. And I know, hallelujah, you have a passion. He should have a passion. And when I, hear, I didn't know much about the story, but when I hear you talking, I said, mm hmm. He loved that Keisha. I remember when I used to go back to Manchester to catch it in, in, in the flight. You'd come to my brother and say, and he packed a box. And he said, the passion you put into that is you like to go to a box of love. You may have yam and banana, whatever it is in it, but it was a box of love. You can rest. You just have to just so God and know that one day you are going to go to meet him. Because he made it in. It's going to be hard. I lost a husband, I lost a mother. And it's same here. But times will yield. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, praise his name. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Jesus. So I want to say to Logan, Paul, my Paul, known as Brother Jimmy, I call him. The love brother, see you in heaven one day. Because the fire was good. It did make it in. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? If you're here today, as I said, not going to be before you long. Hallelujah. Jesus had come to give you the same reward. Today, if you surrender your life, you receive the same reward. If you're in the house today, you will not see. It's not embarrassing. Because we have to come here to not go on the house. How should I come? That's what I mean. So yeah. if you want to do Jimmy, I'm fine. How should I come? That's the best thing. What do you want to do? I just walk in my house. How do you want to do Jimmy?
because he's gonna work. Jimmy, we'll see you. Keisha, the grandkids, all the brothers, everybody gonna see you. Hallelujah. Because they know that Jesus Christ is Lord and that's the only way to enter. Shall we praise him? Shall we praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's okay. That's okay. I had to come there too. Hallelujah. I had to get to that place. We can't fool ourselves no longer. We can't play around with salvation no longer. We cannot live in sin and think we're just going to pop up in heaven. Jesus is going to block the door and he's going to say, I know you not. Oh God, I don't feel bad. We all was there. Lord of mercy. I, I was having Jesus in one hand and the devil in one. Living with Jesus and still doing rocks. Every one of us is the same. Hallelujah. So don't feel bad and think it's just a word that's hitting you. It's a word because God wants to get us there. Let us stand. Hallelujah. Let us stand. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to have the benediction and then we're going to put you back in, in the hands of the um, funeral directors. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask the funeral director to come as I give the benediction. And then we're going to be singing the closing hymn. Thank you. 
today. Hallelujah. So we turn back on. We thank you. Oh, Jesus. Amazing grace. John Newton said, and save a wretch, a wretch like us. I was blind, but I could see. I was lost, but I was found. So, Lord, as we come to the conclusion, oh, God, of this mighty, oh, God, service for my dear, beloved brother, Jimmy. Oh, God, we thank you. We ask, oh, God, that you just continue, oh, God, to give us guidance, oh, God. And as I close here, hallelujah, let your grace keep us. Let your grace sustain us, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And I turn to the to the directors.
People never say they want to get that little looks. Yeah, just bust it quick up. Yeah. 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 No, but if people say, yeah. no,
about some wonder. Consider all thy works, thy hand on me. I see the stars, I hear the mighty thunder. Thy power throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. I'll wait the I'll wait the Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. I'll wait the heart, I'll wait the heart. When through the woods, the forest glades I wander. And feel the bird sing sweetly in the trees. When I look down from lofty mountain grandeur and hear the moon and feel the gentle breeze, then sings my soul, my Savior God to me. I'll wait the heart, I'll wait the heart. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to me.
And go. Cool. 